Hello everyone. Today I'll be discussing the final lesson of the topic digestion and absorption. The disorders of the digestive system. It is presented by me Dr. Amna Khan. The disorders of the digestive system. The inflammation of the intestinal tract is the most common ailment due to bacterial or viral infections. The infections are also caused by the parasites of the intestine like tapeworm, roundworm, threadworm, etc. Now let us discuss some of the disorders of the digestive system in brief. The Crohn disease. It is the chronic inflammation of the digestive tract usually occurring in the terminal portion of the ileum, a part of small intestine. It was first described in 1904 by a Polish surgeon, Antony Lenowski. It was later named after an American gastroenterologist, Burrell Bernard Cron. Celiac disease. It is an inherited autoimmune digestive disorder in which people cannot tolerate Gluten, a protein constituent of wheat, barley, malt, and dry flows. The general symptoms of the disease include the passage of full pale colored stools, progressive malnutrition, diarrhea, decreased appetite and weight loss, multiple vitamin deficiencies, abdominal pain, skin rash, and defect in the tooth enamel. Cholera. Cholera is an acute infection of the small intestine caused by bacterium vibro cholera and is characterized by extreme diarrhea with rapid and severe depletion of the body fluids and salts. Jaundice Excess accumulation of bile pigment in the bloodstream and the bodily tissue that are caused causes a yellow to orange and sometimes even green discoloration of the skin, the white of the eyes, and the mucous membrane. Now the degree of coloration depends on the concentration of bile pigment, that is bilirubin, in the blood. It rate of tissue diffusion, the absorption and binding of bilirubin by the tissue. Gastroenteritis it is the acute infectious syndrome of the stomach lining and the intestine. It is characterized by diarrhea, vomiting, and abdominal cramps. The other symptoms include nausea, fever, and chills. The severity of gastroenteritis varies from a sudden by transi a transient attack of diarrhea to severe dehydration. The gastroesophageal reflux disease or GERD, is a relatively common digestive disorder characterized by frequent passage of gastric contents from the stomach back to the esophagus. The most common symptom of GERD include heartburn and a burning sensation in the chest and upper abdomen. The other symptoms may include coughing, dysphagia, that is difficulty in swallowing, hoarseness or exacerbation of Asthma. Dysentery. Infectious disease characterized by inflammation of the intestine, abdominal pain, and diarrhea, with stools that often contain blood and mucus. Dysentery is significant cause of illness and death in young children, particularly those who live in less developed countries. There are two major types of dysentery the bacillary and amoebic dysentery both caused by respectively bacteria and amoebas. Now, after an intubation period of 1 to 6 days, the disease had an abrupt onset of fever and frequent production of watery stools, which may contain blood. Vomiting may also occur. And dehydration soon becomes very obvious to owing to the copious loss of the body fluids. Appendicitis. It is the inflammation of the vermiform appendix. Some cases are very mild and may resolve on their own, while most cases require removal of the inflamed appendix through abdominal surgery, 
usually while laparotomy or laparoscopy. The gallstone. The gallstone is usually present in the gallbladder. The most common type of gallstone consists principally of cholesterol. Lactose intolerance. It is the inability to digest lactose, the predominant sugar in dairy products. It is caused by deficiency in the amount of lactase, the enzyme that breaks down lactose in the small intestine. The inflammatory bowel disease. The inflammatory bowel disease is the chronic inflammation of the intestine that results in impaired absorption of the nutrients. The symptoms of inflammatory bowel disease may develop suddenly and include constipation, diarrhea, fever, rectal bleeding, abdominal discomfort. The factor that trickle the intestinal inflammation and the onset of inflammatory bowel disease remain unknown. Here is the list of some more diseases of the digestive system. The liver cancer, esophageal cancer, stomach cancer, pharyngitis, cholecystitis, ulcerative colitis, hepatitis, cirrhosis, irritable bowel syndrome, hernia, diarrhea, constipation, gastritis, dysphagia, and proteinuria. So here we complete the topic. Now if you have any question or queries regarding this chapter, please do comment and tell me. Thank you.